To be an effective politician, you gotta have a certain level of toughness and ability to make wise judgment calls, sometimes with little to no time from thought to action. This of course is really magnified when you take it to the scale of leading a nation. There's a lot of power that comes with being a world leader, and in this episode of FTD Facts, I'm looking at the top five most powerful politicians in the world. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Leroy Kenton, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of FTD Facts, and we're looking at some politicians here. If you're watching this and you enjoy politics, hit that like button. And if you're a newcomer here to FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And a question I'm going to throw up for you today before I get into this episode is who was or is your favorite politician and why? Sound off in the comment section down below. Okay, so in this list, I'm counting down from five to one. So let's go. At number five, we have Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel is the Chancellor of Germany since 2005 and also the leader of her own party, the Christian Democratic Union or the CDU. With more than 10 years and three terms in office under her belt, Angela Merkel is one strong and indispensable leader in Europe. She has faced a ton of challenges throughout her tenure and she has come out on top. She's helped hold the Eurozone together during the financial collapse and the global recession. She has stood up to Russian President Vladimir Putin and she also manages Europe's refugee crisis. At her command, Germany stands above the rest of Europe with a strong economy and low unemployment rates. And though she's not really universally liked, Angela Merkel, she's proved a stabilizing force amid a lot of turmoil. I mean, many people call Angela Merkel Mercavelli after the famous political writer Nicola Mercavelli due to her strategic decision making and for having fundamentally transformed power relations in Europe and the European Union. Next up at number four, we have King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and he's the current king of Saudi Arabia. He took the throne after the passing of his his half-brother, eight of the 12 surviving sons of the country's founding monarch reportedly supported a coup to oust King Salman and replace him with his younger brother, Prince Ahmed bin Abdulaziz. King Salman holds a lot of power and influence over the Middle East and his country's massive oil reserves. Even with oil at historically low prices, Saudi Arabia, the world's largest oil exporter, continues to ramp up production to lower prices and to protect its global global market share despite the negative effect it has on the global oil economy. At the number three position, we have the current Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. Narendra Modi is introducing initiatives to improve the lives of the 1.2 billion people who make up the world's largest democracy. India. Some time ago, he had announced plans to reform and modernize the government and business sectors by implementing a uniform sales tax and boosting foreign direct investment to India. Narendra Modi is the third most followed political leader on Twitter following Barack Obama and Donald Trump. And he's also pushing India to integrate with the digital world. He believes tech innovations holds a key to lifting India out of poverty in certain areas. Back in 2015, he had traveled to Silicon Valley in the United States seeking advice and help from tech executives at companies like Google and Facebook. And since he's been doing that, we've really seen the effects because there's been a massive increase of users right here on YouTube from India. So whatever he's doing, it's working. Moving on, at number two is US President Donald Trump. Now, the President of the United States is usually considered to be the most powerful person in the free world, even if the person doesn't really have that much experience in politics at all. I don't really need to go into all of that in this episode by now, but you can just follow the news headlines about Donald Trump and the headlines speak for themselves. And Donald Trump became the first billionaire president in the United States. Donald Trump got his start working for his father, Fred, who developed low-cost housing in Brooklyn and Queens. The core of his fortune is tied up in buildings in and around Midtown Manhattan, where luxury real estate values have fallen recently. Now, many people, including Americans, refer to Donald Trump as unpredictable, and no doubt he holds a lot of power, he's very influential, but now even Americans are questioning whether or not he's fit for the job 
as president. And finally, we reached the number one spot. The most powerful politician in the world is Vladimir Putin. In 2015, the approval ratings for Vladimir Putin, Russia's president and former prime minister, reached an all-time high of 89.9%. After seizing Crimea in the wake of the Ukrainian revolution, Putin was determined to resurrect Russia as a superpower. At an annual UN meeting in September of 2015, Putin had criticized Barack Obama, asserting that the US's interventions have backfired in the Middle East. And shortly after that, Vladimir Putin, he launched the Russian air campaign to target Islamic forces in Syria and weaken rebellion against the country's president. These airstrikes costed Russia $2.5 million a day and it quickly escalated a lot of tensions with Western powers. They were like, what is going on over there? But despite all of that that happened, it still doesn't stop Vladimir Putin from being the most powerful politician in the world today. So that's it for this episode of FTD Facts. Now there are some other politicians that I wanted to include on this list. So some of the honorable mentions were Imran Khan, who is the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan. Then there is Xi Jinping, the serving president of China. And of course, the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. And all of these men wield a considerable amount of power and influence. They just didn't make it onto this list. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and comments about anything that I shared in this episode down below. You can follow me on social media as well. Those links are below in this video description and I'm gonna get on out of here. I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Leroy Kenton. Stay educated and I'll see you in another episode. All right, everybody. So if you're watching this, here are some playlists that I recommend. We talk about the different countries and cultures and people from all around the world. And we also post videos daily. So come back every single day to increase your knowledge here on FTD Facts.